The MAMP software bundle was originally created for Mac. The acronym MAMP represented Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. But this year, in 2014, they released a version for Windows, and it's just as easy to use and install as the Mac version. To justify the acronym, it now means My Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Regardless of what you think of that change, this distribution might be useful because it provides a lot of the same benefits as the Mac version. It can run on multiple ports, and you can add different versions of PHP to it. The Windows version is available from this website. When you download MAMP for Windows, as I've done to my desktop, you'll get a Windows installer package. I'll walk you through the installation. If you see a user account control dialog, click yes, and then select the language you want to use. It's available in German and English. I'll click OK, and then I'll see this warning. It's telling you not to install MAMP into the program files or program files x86 directories, but only under certain conditions. But you'll find, if you continue through the screens, that the suggested directory isn't under there anyway. The suggested default directory for installing MAMP on Windows is c colon backslash MAMP. I'll accept that and continue through the installation. I'll uncheck the option to create a desktop icon and click Next. And then finally, I'm going to install it. But before I do, I'm going to show you that you can run MAMP side by side with Apache and MySQL installed as individual components. I'm going to make sure that I'm running those components before I do the installation. This violates one of the recommendations I made very early in the course, which is to only run one copy of each software. But as you'll see when this is finished, the built-in components will be using the default ports, port 80 for Apache and 3306 for MySQL. And the MAMP versions will be using different ports. I'll go to my services console, and then I'll make sure that both Apache and MySQL are running. I'll start Apache. Then I'll go down to MySQL, and I'll start that as well. Now I'll leave this window open so I can come back to it easily. I'll go back to my installer, and I'll click Install. It'll take a few moments to copy everything over to your hard disk and completely set up the MAMP environment. You'll have the three major components, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Unlike the Mac version, you won't have an alternative HTTP server, Nginx, but that's okay. Our focus is just to get an AMP installation going on the local computer. When you see this screen, the MAMP setup is complete. I'll click Finish to close the installer. Now, let's take a look at the directory structure. Here's the new MAMP folder. You'll see that there's an application named MAMP. That's your control panel. I'll start it up. When I start it for the first time, it tells me that Apache needs port 80, and it's already being used. And I expected that. It's being used by the copy of Apache that I installed as a Windows service. So I'll come back to the port already in use dialog, and I see that I'm being told to reconfigure Apache to use a free port. I'll click OK, and I'll go to Preferences, then I'll go to Ports, and I'll see that MAMP for Windows tries to use the default ports. That's different behavior than on Mac. But then I'll say Set MAMP Ports to Default, and that chooses the alternative ports, 8888 for Apache and 8889 for MySQL. I'll click OK, and after a moment, I see that the servers have started. And I'll click Open Start Page. That takes me to my browser and loads the MAMP start page. Down here, I'm shown that MySQL is running on port 8889. It also tells me my user and password for the root administrator. I'll come back up here and click on PHP Info, and that takes me to the PHP Info page, and I can find out where my php.ini file is. In this installation, it's under c colon backslash MAMP backslash comp backslash PHP and the version number 
and php.ini. I'll go back a step, and then I'll click on Tools and choose PHP My Admin. And that takes me to the web-based interface for managing my SQL. Now, if I want to run MAMPS servers on the standard ports, I'll need to shut down the individual Apache and MySQL services. So I'll go back to my local services console, and I'll stop each of these. First, I'll stop Apache, then I'll find MySQL, and I'll stop that. Then I'll come back to MAMP, I'll click Preferences, I'll go to the ports, and I'll say set web and MySQL ports to 80 and 3306, and click OK. And my servers restart. Once they've restarted, I'll once again open the Start page. And now my page shows that MySQL is running on 3306, and I'm addressing MAMP through localhost with no explicit port number. One more thing. Your document root folder for this distribution is c colon backslash MAMP backslash htdocs. This is where you should put your HTML files, your graphical files, and other web assets, and where you might set up special directories to contain complete websites. So that's a look at how to get started with MAMP for Windows, a new version of MAMP that offers most of the same benefits as the version for Mac.